Hey guys, Deborah with Pinching Pesos here, and it's treasure sharing time. It's Wednesday, and I went shot. Uh, I hit up two Goodwills. One of them is kind of like a smaller Goodwill, and it's kind of hit or miss. You know, sometimes I go in there, and I just find some really amazing stuff. And then other times I go in there, and I'm like, got this coffee cup. You know, it's just like, I don't know. But uh, I spent an hour at the first store. And then the second store, I was probably there um, half an hour. I didn't I didn't have a lot of time. I had to roll out because uh, I have to be on time to pick up my daughter. So uh, from her art class. So here is my goodies that I got. And there's like two things down here. I got some really different stuff today. I was trying to be really particular about what I picked up. I didn't want to... I didn't want any smalls. I, I wanted to make sure that my dollar, that my dollar price was a little higher. You know, I have enough little stuff. I, I wanted to keep things on the higher end of the spectrum, you know, over 30 bucks uh, sell price. So <laughs> Jeff's giving me a hard time in the chat saying it's about time you showed up. Look, I'm sorry. Okay. I had to get some to drink and you know, set it up here. And uh, so anyway, we'll go ahead and get started with what I bought today. I spent, I said $100, but it was actually less than that. Um, I spent $34 at the first store and I spent 80, 80 something at the second store. And it was only so high because of those boots. Those were $20. Um, and I still don't even know if they were worth the buy. I only know that they're my daughter's size. So if they're not worth the buy, she'll totally love them. And $20 is great. Uh, they're actually kind of special because I've never seen that brand in a boot. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing I got here is something a little weird. And you know, um, a couple weeks ago, I picked up that Fitbit scale. And it sold. It went off uh, to Canada. They ended up paying. Uh, I sold it for forty nine dollars plus shipping. So uh, that's gone. Remember, I paid five ninety nine for that one. So I picked up another scale today at the same store, and this one's a little different. This is an Omron, and it actually has a detachable. It's called Visceral Fat Monitor. Like, to, you can put your hands on there, and it'll tell you uh, how much body fat you have. Uh, I did not ask it. I don't want to know. I'll keep living in denial. No. So, it is a body composition monitor and scale. And I'll go ahead and look that up for you and share the results. I need a little table right here something to set this stuff on. I'm hoping that sharing is acting nice today. It's been being a real pain. <gasps> did it share? Hold on. Oh, I did. Look at that. Um, I, I used Firefox this time. Okay, so this is the scale that I have here. It's the body composition scale. You can see it sold new for $75. Uh, when I did my research in the store, I was seeing them used selling for over 30 bucks. Yeah. So you can see here we got 44, 50, 500, I mean 500, 50, here's one for 50. And these are all the used ones. So I thought it was pretty safe for me to pay $7.99 for it, and then red stickers were half price. I didn't even know what color um, was the half price sticker color because I did like I walked in the store and saw the sign, and then it immediately exited my brain on <laughs> on what was half price. Um, so it was $7.99 and then half price, so four bucks, four bucks into fifty. You know, sounds pretty good to me. So. Got that. Uh, next thing I picked up at that store is an item that I've picked up a couple of times, but they gave me trouble. 
one of the times that I bought one because it was new. It was new in the box and I sold it on Amazon and the guy got it and said that it wasn't new. And I was like, yes, it was. Um, it's this Conair bath spa in purple. And for some reason, when I did my research before, I didn't look this one up. This was only $5.99. Uh, but when I did my research before, it seemed like the purple color did better than the other colors. But I don't even know what condition this is in. Since I was in a hurry, I went ahead and just threw it in the cart. Um, just based off of experience. And then now that Goodwill has a, a return policy, um, I figured, you know, I can just take it back if I need to. But a lot of times with these particular kind of items, you got to think things that people get for Christmas, right? A lot of it is actually Conair branded or Hometics. Um, they end up getting foot massagers and paraffin wax and these little bath spas and um, bath, like foot baths. And some of those foot baths actually sell for really decent money. And you find them at the thrift store quite a lot because people get them as gifts. And they, it seems like a good idea as a gift, but really like nobody uses them. They don't pay any mind to them. They end up in a closet somewhere. And then five years later, it gets donated to the Goodwill and it was never even opened. You wouldn't imagine, you couldn't imagine how many of these kind of items I've picked up that have like tape with like a piece of gift wrap stuck to it, you know? So let's see what condition this guy's in. Not the packing materials. All right, it looks like they probably used this one time. It has all of the, it even has the little baggie in there. So, yeah, it doesn't even have any marks on it. It still even has the little uh, zip tie dealy bopper in there, bread tie, bread tie. So let's go ahead and look this up, see if it was a good buy, because I, like I said, I didn't research in the store, and I haven't sold one, you know, recently, in recent memory. Um, I have sold one within the last year. I've actually sold three of them. One of them went on Bonanza. So Conair bath spa okay let's get our share button up here so mm, I need to narrow it down a little more than that okay dual jet bath spa Let me look, used and solds. So that one's $24.99, $34.95. These are all free shipping. Hmm. Looks like the price on these has really gone down. $25.49 plus shipping. You can see the purple. I don't know. I thought that the purple did better. Well, here's another one. They got a best offer on that one. And sold it for, golly, $30 shipping? That's crazy. Oh, I forgot. I'm in Firefox, so it doesn't have the uh, buy it now price. I mean, the best offer price on here. Because I'm not in Chrome where I have my extension. We can see what they're selling for over on Amazon. Let's see. Hmm. 
3688. Open box. Oh, no, else just died. Okay, there we go. It's not a horrible. I paid $5.99 for it. I probably won't pick those up anymore unless they're brand new. Like I said, I was in a rush and it was all kind of taped up, so I had no idea what the condition was inside. All right. Do these still sell? I didn't look these up at all. Remington tight curls. These were bolo forever and ever and ever. I've actually been lucky enough to find two that were brand new in the box. And those sold for um, a pretty penny. I, have, I didn't bother to look them up. They were $4.99. I don't really deal in curlers anymore. I used to... Um, I used to really do a lot of curlers. I bought all of the, um, what are they, Clairol ones. I don't even know the names of them anymore. Um, and then and then I just really got away from it. Because honestly, it was just a lot of trouble. And since so many curlers had gone up on Bolo list, uh, the price on them just really tanked. They just There just wasn't money in them like, they, like there used to be. Uh, I know tight curls were so popular, especially with pageants, because they're just, they just do a really good job getting you tight curls. And also the, uh, lady chic ones, I know still do really well, but let's look these up because I didn't bother to look them up in the store. Because I was in a hurry. Remington tight curls. Oh yeah, the price is still there. Woot woot. Okay, let's go ahead and I'll share with you. Looks like the price has gone up. I might list the ones that I have sitting that I use for my daughter's hair sometimes. Um I'm gonna look at solds. These have the clips. Those are $49.95. It's really hard to find them with the clips. If you ever see in the bags over in the health and beauty section of any of your thrift stores, little white clips that look like this, buy them. Because the hot curlers, the tight curls, generally don't have clips. You can see all of these don't have clips. And they sold $45. This one was $45 free shipping. $38. That person really underpriced theirs. Um, 40 bucks. And none of these have the clips. So if you happen to see these little white clips just randomly in some bags, uh, pick them up. They're totally worth picking up. Especially if you ever run across a set of tight curls, it's going to add to the value of them. When you have the clips, you can sell them for $60, $70. Um, so it's definitely worth like the two bucks they're probably going to charge you at the store. So yay! Yay on the tight curlers! $4.99 on those. I actually have a um, infrared heat uh, thermometer that I heat them up and then I take a picture showing the temperature on the, I don't know, it's not, is it a thermometer? Yeah, thermometer. Um, and show the temperature of what they are, just to show like that they heat up. I, I had bought that back when I was selling a lot of curlers, and I really thought that it added to the value um, of my item, that I could show that these heat up, because that actually is a common um, complaint that people use when they're trying to fish for some money off or they're trying to complain about the item. They'll say, oh, they don't heat up like they're supposed to. So I got it covered. I take a picture of the temperature. I picked this up at the first Goodwill that I went to. I try to, even though I don't really scan DVDs like I used to, I don't scan the media like I used to, um, 
I still try to look at the spines of any of the DVDs and media just to see if there's something different, something special. And I noticed this just kind of looked different. This is the greatest moments of the Kentucky Derby, um, along with Horse Players Expo Collectors Edition. There's only one that's sold on auction, which I don't really pay any attention to auction prices uh, if they're low, because that's just how auctions run sometimes. Um, and then there's two for sale. Horse Players Expo. DVDs. See, that's the one that's sold for $14.97. And then the two that are available, why is it only showing me one? There's two on my, on my phone. Anyway, that one's $49.97. So I went ahead and paid $4.99 for it. We'll see how it goes. I might not even have all of the DVDs now that I'm looking at it. I've got DVD 1, 3, and 4, and The Greatest Moments of the Kentucky Derby. I thought those went together. I guess they don't. I guess I need two. Hmm. I'll have to see. I'll have to see how this goes. At least they're all horse racing. That's what happens when you're in a hurry. I picked up the Soda Stream. I didn't look up the model or anything. I bought it because it had a CO2 cartridge. Um... I didn't do any research on this unit at all. Ooh, it still has it still has stuff in it. Nice. So it's not empty. I guess that means I can use it until I sell it. Uh, because if you look, Soda Stream CO2. The tanks are actually refillable. So people send them in. And then they'll get a new one. So an empty tank all on its own the empty tanks all on their own sell for money. So let me share with you. Okay, so here's one that sold for eleven ninety five plus shipping. Yeah, ten dollars in shipping. And so you can see the going rate on just an empty one of the carbonators is ten dollars. Here's two, three. So if you ever see those, go ahead and pick them up. There is a value to them. They're they definitely have a value. They're not trash. It's almost like um like a propane tank where they might be empty but they still have a value i need to go ahead and look up the soda stream and see uh if it has a value at all i'm gonna see what model this is i'm not real familiar with soda stream jeff do you know what kind of soda stream this is i haven't looked at the chat let me look See. Looking at the soda stream. Sorry, I know this part is boring. Soda stream red. If you ever see the soda streams, I've talked about them before. They look like a penguin. I'm going to show that to you real quick just so you know to watch out for those particular items. They sell for very good money. I've been lucky enough to run across one of those before that I paid $7.99 for. This is the Penguin Soda Stream. It sells, you can see here, 80 bucks. 70 bucks. And these little can, bottles, they're little glass bottles. If you ever see these little glass bottles, they look like salad dressing holders. I know they're probably being passed by every single day in the Goodwill um, 
because nobody knows what they are. Let me go back and get to that other one that had the, here's what they look like. They sold that for $20. $10 plus $10 in shipping. So if you ever see a bottle that looks like this, they're glass. They're not plastic. Glass bottle with the silver cap, that is for the Soda Stream Penguin. Buy them. They um, sell very quickly and very easily. And then if you see these penguin looking weird devices, buy that too. All right, so let me get back and see if I can find my soda stream. It has a digital display on it. Maybe I'll put that in there. Digital. Oh, that didn't bring up anything. Okay, so we'll just go back to red. And, you know, I'm not seeing my unit here. Here it is. It's a fizz. Okay, so now I have a keyword. Red Fizz. Awesome. Uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you what I do whenever I'm trying to research my items, and I'm gonna make a video about this, a whole video about it, about how to be a watcher without actually watching an item, and you can do it with active and sold items. You go right here and press this button that says add to my list. And I have these different lists that I've made and I'm just going to add it to my research list because I might forget in a couple days that this is a soda stream fizz and then I'm going to have to research it all over again. So instead I just add it to my list and then I'm able to go back and just pull up my list of quote unquote research and it's there. So I don't think this was a bad buy for $8.99 at all. Okay, next up. This was my big winner of the evening. I got this at my first store. And let me move this drink out of the way before I spill it all over the place. So. Okay. Okay. This is a Sound Station EX. Now it was opened up. Somebody had, I guess, opened it and looked inside to see what it was and then just left it there. Their loss is my gain. I paid $9.99 for this. Uh, it has all of the pieces inside. The only thing it didn't have was the manual, which I can print out. I always do that um, when I have any type of electronic or anything type of appliance or anything, um, I actually print out a manual and include it with the item. It definitely helps uh, with your sales to be able to say, especially on Amazon, on used items, to be able to type in there includes printed instruction manual. I think that helps a lot. Um, so let me go ahead and look up this item for you. So you know why I said it's a winner. So Sound Station EX. Okay, let's see. Get to the salt here. Oh, it might be good if I press the share button. Okay. So the Polycom Sound Station, the one that I have. is here. Now these are new. Let me switch to used. And this is what I have. Mine is the station and the two docks and this um, whatever this is. So I have all of the pieces. So I paid $9.99 for it. And it looks like it goes anywhere from, let's say the medians, median price is about $150. Um, on the low end, got to go lowest here. On the low end, 
those are all pieces. Those aren't even complete. Here's one that sold on auction. So that was an auction fail. This one doesn't have the microphone. Uh, that one's missing the adapter. That one went on for 45, but that's just what they priced it at. So I'm planning on pricing mine up where the majority of them were listed. Um, at about $149 is what I'm going to list mine at. Especially since it has the original box and everything. That's definitely a feature. Uh, the These are used in conference rooms. This is a conference, uh, basically a conference room for come on, for conference calls, uh, so that multiple people can be talking uh, on the conference call. It's a full duplex audio conferencing system. So not bad. I was pretty stoked. Okay, next up. If you watched my haul video from last week when I went to Savers, uh, you know I picked up a brand new uh, tater twister. And I mentioned in that video that I actually have a lot of luck parting out those items. Um, I found another one. This one has all the pieces. It even has the instruction manual. It's got the two chopping blades and everything. Um, so I paid $8.99 for it. And let me share with you what this is going to add up to once I part it all out. Part. And let's share. Okay. So you can see here, the instruction manual alone sold. Um, the chopping blades basically sell for whatever you list them for. I generally have them priced either $9.95 plus shipping or $12.95 free shipping. You can see the base sells for $13 free shipping. Uh, the little plastic part, $16.99. I would say that the best bet and what I'm going to do is probably price every one of the items uh, about eleven ninety five. Um, if it's, yeah, I'm gonna say eleven ninety five. So we'll just say one, two, three, four, five pieces. Even if I just say ten bucks, um, that's fifty dollars in parts on this unit, and it doesn't take that long to list parts. All right, next up. On my sales update video, I actually um, mentioned this particular unit as well. This is a Cuisinart mini chopper. Uh, it doesn't have the base. I always find them like this. I don't ever find them like intact um, on these. These are the larger three cup bowls. I do find the mini one. This is the three cup one. Um, so this gets parted out as well. I paid $2.99 for it. I just recently sold this. I believe it was for $12.95. And uh, these always sell because you can't use the machine without the locking mechanism. Surprisingly, I haven't sold any of the chopping blades. I have two of them out there. I need to check and make sure they're still listed. That might be why they didn't sell. Um, and then the work bowls. The work bowls always sell as well. So for $2.99, essentially, even if I just price them $10 a piece, which I won't, I already have a listing for these. Uh, it's a variation listing. So all I really need to do, this is why I like doing parts that... Um, I've already sold before. Like I love it when I find parts for something that I already have a, an existing listing. Let me show you that listing real quick. Uh, Cuisinart. 
Oh my gosh, somebody's got to get the dog in. That dog is making me nuts. One sec. All right. Okay. So here's the listing that I already have. It's a good till canceled listing. And get my share button. Oops. I don't know why they make this so complicated. Okay. All right. So here's the listing that I already have. Um, and it's a variation listing. It has the bowl the feed tube and the chopping blade. And all I have to do is go in and revise this item and update the quantities. So let's go down here and we're gonna update our quantities on that. And it's basically gonna end up listed. So now I have one of those and you can see I had it listed for $18.95. I have one of those now. It's listed for $10.95. And now I have four of these. So that listing is done. Um, I need to go back and add the base. Oh, mine's black. So I'll have to wait and add that one. Because you can add... It's very easy to just go ahead and add the ones that you've sold out of. Um, but I'll have to do that at another time because I don't have the pictures of a black uh, base. So you can see it's really, really easy to go ahead and relist this item and be done with it. I don't know what I had this priced at before. I'm going to put it at $14.95. So there we go. And it's relisted with all the new quantities and I didn't have to do anything. Save and done. Ba -da -ba -da. So now this is listed except for that black base. I didn't have it yet. Next up. Uh, they're asking in the chat if I still have an employee. I do, but I don't. I haven't used him in a while. I don't really need him right now. Um, so I don't really have him right now. But he's there if I needed, if I had work for him to do. Um, as to what brand was it? It's a Cuisinart. It's a Cuisinart. I was really excited to see this. Um, not because I cared about what this was. I didn't even bother to look it up. I should probably look it up. It's a Cuisinart. That was a Cuisinart Smart Power Duet um, unit that I was just showing you on the variation listing. Okay, so I've got Big Shot Basketball. Let me make sure this isn't worth anything before I open it up. Because I didn't buy it for what it is. Okay. I don't have any listings for that. The reason why I was so excited to see this... Okay, somebody had it listed for $20 on auction, nobody bought it. Um, and then somebody else had it on auction for eleven ninety five. So I think I'm safe. The reason why I was excited for this was because I wanted the basketballs out of it. I wanted these basketballs because a long time ago, I picked up this, Hot Hoops. 
but I messed around when I was taking the pictures and didn't put the item back in the box right away. And then one of the basketballs, like, disappeared off the face of the planet. I don't know if maybe it rolled off and fell in the trash. Um, but God, eBay's doing that stupid thing where it's not showing you the completeds anymore. Okay. So the Hot Hoops basketball game sells for about, let me share with you, about 30 bucks. I paid $2.99 for it. However, I lost one of the basketballs. So it kind of just didn't have the same value. And these basketballs are the exact same basketballs as the ones that are used in the game. So I can basically substitute one of these basketballs. And then I can even probably just sell the other ones as replacement basketballs. Like these are replacement balls. But I totally see this item going as a Christmas gift because it's kind of like a nostalgia kind of thing of, oh, you know, when I was a kid, I used to play this hot hoop basketball game and blah, blah, blah. And then somebody's girlfriend's going to buy it for them and be like, look what I got you. So that's what I'm totally expecting. I could be wrong. Okay, next up. Yeah, it's the 90s game. The we only got two more items here, guys, and then we can go. I wasn't sure about this one at all because I didn't even, I don't even understand why it would be relevant anymore. But it was $7.99 and it's all new. It's missing the adapter. But adapters, I mean, you can get adapters. And it had the transmitter in the new in the box as well. It's a sound cast. And it has an iCast transmitter and then the receiver speaker. And you're supposed to hook them up to your cell phone. And it's like an iHome, but it's like wireless, and it just seemed like totally irrelevant, useless technology, and I wasn't really sure about it, but when I was doing the really, really, really fast research I was doing, this was the last thing I picked up, and I had to go. Um, Soundcast, it's called Outcast. Um, speaker cast. Speaker cast. Oh, it would be nice if I spelled speaker correctly. I put spurker. Spurker. There's one listed for $49.99. And then in the completed, there's these. And so this is why I wasn't really sure. Oh, share. Do what I told you. So in the completed, there were these. And they were charging a hundred and they wanted $125, $90. This one sold on auction. Um I wonder what their shipping was on that. 15 bucks. So that's reasonable. That's just an individual person, though, that sold that. So I thought I was safe just going ahead and picking it up um, for $7.99. Here's the little transmitter. That one's... $18.99. Now, apparently, if you happen to see any of these outcasts, go ahead and pick those up. Um, hot, $8.99. Uh, 
That's crazy. Here's a transmitter as well. That one sold for 65. Here's another one. I don't know what model I have. Oh, and my whole drink just got knocked on the floor. Oh, it's going to be really sticky. Okay. I don't know what model I have of this iCast. But I'm definitely going to look out for these sound casts. Those look like little um, air purifiers. So that... This is all taped up. This is an 11A. So it looks like that. Well, one of them sold for 99 and one of them sold for $3. Oh, because it's broken. Okay. So $85 somebody has one listed for. I don't know. Maybe this was a good buy. And maybe it was a dumb buy. Who knows? But $7.99. All right. Last item, guys. And then I've got to clean up my floor. I spilt my whole cup that I just moved so I wouldn't spill it. The chair hit it and knocked it off. These were the first things I saw when I walked into the second Goodwill. And you tell me if you're not surprised by what brand they are. They're really nice. They got like a almost like a wool. All right. What are those? Upside down. They're Sperry's. They're Sperry's top ciders. I was really surprised. I saw them and I was like, oh, those are really nice boots. And then I looked at the brand and I was like, Sperry's? Really? Um, and I kind of did a quick search. They're 10. Karen is asking what size. They're a size 10, which is a great size. Um, and I did a quick search, but I, while I was just scrolling through really quickly, I didn't um, see that particular style. Let's go ahead and share. Um, at all. Yeah, and I'm not finding any now. So I don't really know. Um, oh, this is that store I shared with you guys. Uh, I don't know if anybody paid attention, but Apparel Save. I bought a pair of boots there that I was going to pay $109 for, and I ended up paying $35 plus shipping. So I got them for like $44. Bucks. Um, same exact boots. Uh, instead of one website I was going to buy them on, I bought them from Apparel Save, and amazing. They have some amazing prices on shoes. So definitely bookmark that store, Apparel Save. Um, but yeah, I'm just still not finding these particular boots at all. So I'm going to have to do some more research. I don't really know. But like I said at the beginning, if they're not worth enough, you know, to sell them, because I paid $20 for them. So if they're not worth enough to sell them, they're going to my daughter because they're her size. Uh, but anyway, that's all the stuff that I got, you guys. And, um, I don't know. It was pretty good. I think I should do fairly well. Like I said, I paid 34 at the one store and 80 was it 80 at the other one. So right. Yeah, I guess I was right. Right about a hundred dollars. Um, because I had a couple personal items in the, I have, I bought a, a thing for the Wii 
and I bought like some crochet hooks so those can come out of the price so it's probably right about a hundred bucks not bad at all I'm pretty excited so I'm gonna go ahead and get those listed this week um, but anyway when they say hing hams the crazy card said the boots are they hing hams I don't know what that is. That doesn't come up with anything on eBay as a word. So anyway, you guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and close out for the evening. It's kind of a, a lot longer than I thought it was going to be because I didn't think I had that much stuff, but apparently I talk a lot. So, uh, Everybody have a really good evening. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and post them in the comments below the video. Um, make sure to go ahead and watch Chris Carone, The Walking Pickers show is coming on right after this at 9 o'clock. And um, it says they're on Amazon. Let's look. Ping hands. I didn't bring him. That didn't bring him anything. Uh, that didn't bring him anything. Somebody post me a link. That would be great. So anyway, I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this evening. It was awesome. But um, check y'all guys later. Bye.